If you create tutorials, educational videos, you teach things online, then this video is gonna help you a lot in your process. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Emilio and in this video we're gonna see the Markup plugin from FX Factory. This plugin has a lot of features that it's gonna make our life way more easier when we create tutorials and educational videos, especially here on YouTube. And to be honest, this plugin saved me a lot of time when I'm using the effects that has to offer. Let's go into Final Cut Pro and see the Markup plugin in action. We're in the Final Cut Pro interface and let's go and see the Markup plugin in action. As soon as you download the Markup plugin, you're gonna find it inside the title. So inside the titles, you're gonna have the Markup option and then we have these different options of things that we can do with this plugin. As I mentioned in the beginning, this plugin is a go-to plugin for those who create tutorials. And let me show you exactly why I said that. As we can see on the top left, we have plenty of tools like the attention brackets, attention command, attention pointer, highlight click, highlight line. Let's focus on the attention light at first. And as you can see here, we have the interface of the tutorial where we want to show something. With the attention bracket, what we can do is first of all, drag it and place it into the timeline above the clip that we want. And you can see that we can select this and place it where we want. On the inspector panel, for example, we can say here, check this out. On the inspector panel, we can control if we want to have a built-in or a built-out animation, the space of the brackets, and then we can control also where it is on the X and Y axis, and of course, the color, if we want it, what color we want. So, as you can see here, it's gonna look like this we have an attention bracket. And if I disable the build in and the build out, it doesn't have any animation. Let's move on now. We have the attention command. Whenever we press on something in our keyboard, we have the option to show that. Let's say, for example, we want to press command and the plus so we can zoom in. And you will see that it's popping up in the screen. And of course, we can change the shape curve, we can change the fill color, how much we want the fill color to be, and also the fill opacity, the stroke color, we can change that as well, the stroke opacity and the stroke width, how much width we want. And of course, we can again customize if we want the build in and the build out. And we can change the font by going into the text inspector and by there change the font that we want to use. And if we drag this, we can place it wherever we want into the screen. I'm sure you have seen, for those of you who are watching my videos, you've seen me using this plugin in a lot of the recent tutorials. Then we have the attention pointer. So when we want to mention something into the screen and we say, hey, this is what I mean, we can drag this. This brings out an arrow. And as you can see, the arrow, we can control where we want the arrow to point by turning this wheel here or by simply changing the angle. And here we can also change the curve. And we can control this. On the inspector panel, we can change again, build in, build out the color. It's the usual process to all of them. And it will show something like this. So also, this is very useful if you want to have an arrow that it will have a curve as well to point in a specific area of your screen. Then we have the highlight click. The highlight click is something very useful, especially when we want to showcase that we're clicking into something. So let's go, for example, here. When we click this effect, we can drag this. And we can go and change where it's gonna be here. So I'm pointing into the screen where I'm gonna click. And the highlight line, again, let's say that after we finish that, we will go into the inspector panel. So I can drag this and place the highlight line here. And on the highlight, I can change the length I can change the blends and the blend mode and make it multiply so I can 
highlight the specific area where I'm going to work. So that was an example of the different options that we have on the attention. Let's go now to the focus, which is the one that I use the most. We're going to change something in the inspector panel and we want to focus this area and to show that, A, we're going to work on this area. We drop the focus area, we select the size, as you can see here, of the focus area where we're focusing, what we're going to change. And by simply dragging and dropping it there, of course, we have on the inspector panel all the settings that we can change again, the stroke color and everything, but check this out. It makes darker everything else except the thing that we want to focus. Another good example is the focus loop. We can take the focus loop again, place it to the inspector panel, and it's also zooming in as well. And then we have the frame zoom, which the frame zoom, it's not only used for tutorials, but you can use it for everything that you want to zoom in and zoom out. It's an easy zoom in, zoom out effect. And let me show you right away. I'm dragging it on top of the clip. I select which area I want to zoom. So let's say here on the inspector panel. And boom. Easy as that, without keyframes, without anything, we have a zoom in and a zoom out. You can customize the build in and the build out if you don't want to have the zoom in or the zoom out. The frame pan moves the X and Y axis and then we have the privacy line. The privacy line works for areas where we don't want to show what it is behind that. So we can control this, make a square like that here and then we go into the inspector panel. We can disable the sensor so we don't have any color and you see that already is doing the censoring and you can control the blur and the pixelate amount, how much you want a pixelate and a sensor. Something that is really awesome with the new version of 10.6 of Final Cut is that we can use all of these tools with a built-in tracker. So we can have the attention bracket, we can drag this and place it into the object. Let's place it here and then I'm going to have it for the full video length and click on Analyze. Then I'm clicking Done and you can see that the attention bracket is following my subject. That is a very great feature, having a dedicated tracker built inside Final Cut Pro. Finally, we have it and you will see a video dedicated to this tracker option.